Mark Buckley, COP28 Dubai Live. We're here, uh, 1.5 Media Live for Future. And we're here with two wonderful people who are, are doing amazing things around the world. I'd like you to please introduce yourselves and what, why you're at COP and what your company does, which is fabulous. Hi, my name is Simeon Pitakoski. I'm one of the founders of Aquai. I'm Liana Thompson, founder of Aquai, and we are a hardware-enabled software company merging biomimicry to protect our waterways. Protect your waterways. How in the heck are you doing that? I heard it's kind of a neat technology, a neat thing. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So we are using robotic fish-like platforms that look and swim like real fish, and they carry a payload of cameras and up to 16 different sensors, and they stay in the water for about a year. And they're harnessing data like salinity, pH, dissolved oxygen, biodiversity, different species, and giving that information to a web dashboard, like a SaaS model, which we call FAS, as in fish as a service. And we got into this mainly because our daughter well, you can tell the story. Well, one day our daughter said, one Christmas said, I want you to save the oceans. And that's pretty much how it you know, began, really, the story. That's a beautiful story. To do to just react so quickly for something from your water, that's so beautiful. I think it was built on many years of being involved with the environment, uh, being involved with climate technologies for around uh, since I was 12. I'm now 50. So that's quite a long time. I've seen a lot of transitions happening. And a lot of, uh, I would say, nightmare scenarios, positive signs, really good hope. I still got hope. And so we met and connected actually first on LinkedIn. And then we were at a unique place, the Atlantis Hotel on Jamira Palm, surrounded by fish, sharks, and all sorts of other wonderful uh, species, mammals. Um, I don't know. I, I think it took over an hour of footage there. My mouth was open at a salary time. And we, we had a nice conversation. But what, what's brought you to Dubai? What's brought you to the COP? Why are you here besides your businesses? What are you doing here? And how's it going so far? So as I mentioned, I've been involved with the climate since I was 12. I've seen many, many different forms and many, many dis different discussions from the climate perspective. What brought me to the UAE and to COP was the UAE is different. They are focusing on integration. And they're not just looking from a little point of view. They're saying, what is the big picture? And the, I think that's the bottom line. What is the big picture? How do we solve that big picture? And for me, that blended well. It blended well 35 years of doing this, right? There, there isn't a talk. There isn't, well, let's do it next year. It's now. There isn't a separation in, well, you know what, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to do this. They look at a dot and they say, that dot is earth. How do we take your project? What do you need? And how do we make it go from here to the world? And I think that's very unusual. So we were invited here um, by Abu Dhabi to set up our company, Akwai. Um, so, as I mean, we're saying it's about action. So, yes, it may be an oil producing country and some people may be up in arms about that. They are hosting COP. But the reality is, if you look around, look what they're doing with their money and what they've done in 50 years. This place is amazing. It's also about action, not just talk. And so they're bringing companies like ours that are frontier technologies, deep technologies, using AI and machine learning and computer vision and, and integration. I mean, our units stay in the water for the entire year. So the fact that they are recognizing, yeah, let's bring in these technologies that maybe aren't around for already 20 years, but that can really make a difference for the tomorrow. And let's start that today. So I've been a roboticist as well, right? So environmentalist, roboticist, close to 30 years of covered land, sea, and air. I always light up when I see children. And, and, and throughout this week, there's been an incredibly amount of children running around laughing because a lot of the things around COP, which most of the grown-ups didn't see, were actually teaching kids. Now, I have never seen that 
in any part of the world that is actually embracing the kids, that's saying, yeah, look, we've got a, an interactive show for you. It's got in the ocean, it's got the forest. You know, go and explore. But these are the problems. And I think that's, wow, that just left speechless. I mean, just, I mean, you've been here, right? You've been full quite a while. Yeah, I've been to many, many cops and been here since before the cops started. It's, it is truly amazing. I'm so glad to see you light up and, and, and your passion behind this because it's more depth and substance. It's not just, you're not just putting a robot out, out, out there and you're not just collecting data. It's something behind this entire work that you're doing. Something magical happened when my daughter said, can you make a bronze, right? And this is the magic behind that clever question. I want you to save the oceans. I could not be a father to her. And that's the way I saw it. If I just stood, I can go out the house, right? But is that really me saving her life, right? So at the end of the day, there was no choice to that, to that promise. There was, this is what I'm doing. And it's not just saving her life, but it's actually trying to save everybody else's life. So we're here asking two questions. One is the first one I've kind of already pre-told you about it. It's the question of cop half full, which is a meme or a twist on a meme. What's each of your answers now that you've had some views and perspectives here at the cop green zone, blue zone? Oh. I fit the huge fact. Well, for me, the cup is always half full, right? It is, is, there's always two choices. In the beginning of the week, there was the oil question. And at the end of the week, there was everybody from the Emir Emirati saying, you know, this is our direct line. This is what we're doing. And it's very direct. And that, to me, gives me more hope than ever before because it's inclusion. It's direct. The message is loud. This is how much money I am putting down. These are the actions that I am doing. And that to me is part of the climate struggle, right? The actions, everybody, all the startups here were, were begging for other investors to come in. And everybody said, okay, well, I'm just doing it from the top, right? And that actually was a downer. It was an extreme downer because the one thing that all startups do is give their life away. That's eight years of our life if trying to save other lives, right? And to have the MRI saying, this is it. We believe in you. That's magic. Right? That speaks louder than, you know, words. Absolutely. That's great. You want to answer that? Um, I mean, you pretty much summed it up, inclusion, when you said the inclusion. I do think that a lot of people that I've spoken with who had never been here before coming from the U.S. or Europe, they get here and all their, their preconceptions are dissipated because they're astounded at just how beautiful and how inclusive it really is here. You do see so many different types of people living in harmony and walking through the malls, of which there are many, or here at COP. So I do feel that there is this absolute, and I think it also has to do with the, the, the grounds itself and how beautiful the grounds are, but not in a fake way. In a really very aesthetically pleasing, inclusion, embracing way where I find that the conversations that I did have in like meeting you is just been probably some of the better parts of COP. That's so nice here. Thank you. Um, the last and hardest question I have for you, Wolf, what does a world that works for everyone look like for you with specific hope? That's easy. You want to save the environment, it gets inclusion. The minute you start dissecting things into groups and this one's not getting this one and that one's not getting, you, you miss the point. Saving the world or saving the environment or trying to save life, it's inclusion. It means even your enemy has the right to be saved. That's what it means. I love that. You know, I, I say quite a bit of one person on this world is suffering. We all suffer. It's about all of us getting to a better future. I think we were at, um, what were we were at this morning? It was, um, what was the discussion this morning? And I know which minute. It was the first one. Well, anyway, a, a minister stood up and said, oh. it's about time Mango. that Sorry. mangroves. Mango. It was about time that we put our differences aside because they came from two different areas and was two different people phoning up from the Emiratis saying, listen, it's about time that we, we're going to put our differences aside to work on this one big issue which covers the world, which is the mangrove issue. 
And I and I love that. That was honest, right there. That was her, her Excellency Razan um, Al Mubarak, who spoke at the Mangrove event, and it was uh, it was exactly that. For me, it's in you. You want to answer it too? Um, I guess for me, it's nature. I just think that we all spend more time in nature, and we're able to feel the nature. Then we probably would all be much more harmonious as well. So it's about having a world where everyone has that place to breathe and, and, and get their energies rejuvenated. And for me, that's nature and music. So I guess more nature and more music. Thank you both for letting us inside of your ideas. It's been a sheer pleasure. And I wish you the most successful time. It's an pleasure as well. Thank you. 1.5 Media and Allied for Future. Good. Please, please. It's a nice answer to say it. It's what we do today that counts. Tomorrow is like simply too late, right? And really take those words, try and do as many Google searches as you can. But it really is what we do today that really counts. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.